welcome back everybody to another episode of sweat water fishing as you can see we are uh, doing big things ladies and gentlemen with the whole virus going on we figured well if we're gonna distance ourselves we might as well be on a canoe right so as you can see the big thing she's now registered yeah two batteries got our fish finder on Got a nice mini coda in the back. Chris has been working really hard to get this uh, canoe where we wanted it. And um, we're really excited to uh, get it out today. We're gonna finish rigging this up, everybody. And uh, we're gonna put it out in the water. Uh, stay tuned for more. We're gonna do a little bit of bass fishing. Try to catch some catfish. Pretty much um, whatever we can get our hands on today. That's what we're gonna go after. So stay tuned and we will uh, see y'all in a bit, everybody. Good morning everybody what's up so this is day two uh, yesterday we went and tried out the canoe uh, so y'all have already seen that uh, yesterday we decided that we wanted to take a little Galveston jetty trip so here we are guys uh, we're gonna get out here we try to beat the crowds which we have yeah only, we definitely did that only a couple people but the guy at the gate said that there's gonna be like 300 people here later today so we need to get a good spot and get started. Y'all can follow us out on the jetty. This ought to be fun. You can see it ripping and roaring right out there. That's what we're walking across, guys. We are over here at the East Beach in Galveston. Actually, my first time at the East Beach and I used to live in Galveston. So I gotta say, pretty clean beach though. Not a lot of tourists right now with the coronavirus going on. Sure. So we did some uh, pretty easy, and ri pretty easy rigging. Uh, we just threw some spin baits on, guys. Um, well, spinners. Yeah, you got a spin spinner bait. Yep. And a spoon. And I've got two spoons. So a spoon, spinner bait, and then two spoons. <laughs> and then me and Chris are gonna hope to God that this isn't. Slippery. I do love the ocean though, y'all. Got some random people here. Yeah. Woo. Me and Chris may or may not get soaked right here. We're probably gonna take the ladder. Pretty sure we're gonna get soaked. But hey, whatever. We got our fishing gear on. High hooks got our back. Oh, ah, 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 ah. I stay wet. What's up? No. <laughs> move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. All right, we're good, we're good. Wait. Okay, go. Oh, that was a big ass hook. Stick it up. Oh, shit. How do we get across this? Oh, dude, you got me fucked. There's no way. Absolutely no way. There's no. Ah! Woo! <laughs> got him. Oh, God. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, this might be where we stay at, buddy. I don't even see the rocks to step on. Uh, spinner. Whoop, whoop. Whoa! 
Well, everybody, we're back. Going to a uh, new spot here. We left the jetties. Now, we are heading to a spot that we uh, saw this on the way in. Got to thinking this might be a good spot to go fish at. It's really hard off the jetties right now. Really anywhere in Galveston, you're always fighting the water coming off these jetties and I'm not in the mood to put four ounce weights on these little bitty rods to try to get my lure all the way out there. So we're gonna have to go to where the fish are at is what me and Chris are starting to realize. So we found a couple spots over here that we're gonna go um, get set up on. And uh, hopefully we can get a couple fishies for you guys. I don't know if y'all noticed this, but Chris has got his little Guggen face shield on. He bought that uh, Guggen mystery box up at Academy. He got some really good lures out that. I had a guy yesterday, we were uh, dropping the boat in and he was asking me about uh, Guggen and what we use. And I was telling him, you know, man, we use a lot of Sixth Sense. We use a lot of Guggen. I use a lot of H2O tackle. I like them a lot for their price point. I mean, uh, and I've noticed that uh, Sixth Sense is actually getting into the whole uh, fishing rod game, so that's probably going to be my next purchase. They're everywhere. Good God. Look at that one. Just moving along. We need to go get a terrarium for Annabelle so we can just bring her back like 37 hermit crabs. Paula would be so happy. Woo, that's a big one. Yeah, it is. Golly. Definitely the biggest one we found. Yeah. You're in the contest now. You won. <laughs> Skill challenge. Find the biggest hermit crab. No. <laughs> That's more of a gauge job. Huh. Look at the little baby one. Yeah. Bink. Too bad they're horrible bait. This adventure. Look at Chris, huh? <laughs> He's stuck in the mud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, here's your problem. Find out you just found a pole. Chris got all muddy. It's our tag, right? We get sweaty so you don't have to, but now we get muddy apparently. So don't worry about it. Not on purpose. Definitely not on purpose. Fish. Look at that, guys. Mullet. It's good little mullet. It's good little mullet. It's a good big size. We're gonna put him back. We're not after him. We're crabbing today, y'all. Woo! Just got a cast net. We said, you know what? I'm hungry. Cold coronavirus is going on. I need food. Let's get some crabs, right? Here we go. Chris is gonna throw his cast net. Well, my cast net. Let's see how it works. Maybe we'll go try out down there where all them people were on this side fishing. Oh, cast this stuff? Yeah. yeah 
What's up, Sweatwater family? So, first off, I have to apologize. We didn't catch any fish. And it's been tough. It was um, early, it's still early spring, and the wind conditions were off. I know there's a ton of excuses that we have, but uh, we didn't catch any fish. So we switched over, as you saw, we, uh, we went and bought Heath a, I think it was a five foot, maybe a six foot uh, cast net. And we tried to cast net for, for blue crab. I ended up catching a couple um, with a blow dart gun. I didn't really want to show that on there because uh, I mean, with catching only just a couple, it really doesn't go very far. We are catching fish. I know if y'all follow us on Instagram, uh, you see that I am catching fish. I just don't ever catch it on film, and I'm working on that, and I'm sorry. Uh, there will be a video coming up uh, of us, or me, fishing here at my park. Uh, we have a stock pond, uh, and I'll, I'll explain all about that later. But uh, what else? So coming up, I know that we had said that there's a, a couple fishing trips that were coming up, but with everything that's going on with the coronavirus, uh, we had we had to cancel. Uh, we're just we're just gonna reschedule those for a later date. Hopefully not too much later because the redfish trip we we were hoping to hit in May because that's like peak prime season. Um, but don't worry, they will come. We will get some videos up. The next video that will be out is our uh, camping trip. Uh, it was gonna, it's me, Heath, and Annabelle. So be sure to stay tuned for that. There's some really cool scenes in there. And I did catch fish. I just did not catch them on film. But I, I caught uh, two white bass and we ended up cooking them. So you'll get to see that later. Um, what else? Next thing. I understand that this time with the coronavirus and the home lockdown, everybody's going to stir crazy. Uh, help us out, fans. Send our links to your friends, your family. Uh, give us the likes, comment on our videos. Like, I will respond to the comments. Uh, but we need help growing as a channel. This is all we have right now. And we enjoy it tremendously. I, like this is what I want to do full time. Uh, so any suggestions, hints, uh, requests, just shout out, man. I'll, I will respond to you and I'll take the criticism and we will learn and grow with you guys' help. Just like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, but I do want to thank our sponsor, High Hook Fishing. Uh, I'll put the link down here. Um, they make good apparel and it's not very expensive. I mean, look at this shirt. It's got good, great graphics. It's got great material. I've worn this specific shirt for three days out in the woods. And I know that's not particularly what they're made for, but it hung up in there. It didn't tear. And I, where we're standing, it has a bunch of vines and, and thorn bushes and it gets snagged on stuff. And I didn't tear any holes in it. These hats are premium quality. Snapback, trucker hat, like they're awesome. They're the great stuff. So all I have to do is just go to, uh, I'm gonna put it right here, highhook.org and use our, our code, sweatwater15, 15% off. So not only do you get it at a cheaper price because their stuff is very, very reasonable. You, you go to like Academy and try to pick out Columbia stuff and it's 45 to $60 and that's just, you don't have to do that. We got good stuff and you'll help support us and help support a, a, a small business. So Sweatwater 15, 15% off, get your discount, help us out. We love you guys. Stay tuned. We got some cool stuff coming. We love you. Peace.